The North Korean regime hates the United States. Every day, North Koreans are told that the Americans are imperialists, aggressors, and hostile. North Korean children are taught that cunning American wolves want to kill them. To understand where this hatred is coming from, we need to go back to the Korean War. After the US and Soviet Union agreed to split the peninsula at the 38th parallel, Kim Il-sung was installed as the North's communist leader. In 1950, he tried to reunify the Koreas by force. The northern forces pushed down the peninsula, capturing Seoul. A highly trained and well-equipped North Korean army swarmed across the 38th parallel to attack unprepared South Korean defenders. A surprise landing at Incheon by General Douglas MacArthur turned the tide of the war and cut off the North supply lines. The American-led UN forces moved deep into North Korea, capturing Pyongyang. But when the Chinese intervened, the fighting was pushed back to where it all began, the 38th parallel. Chinese communist troops crossed the Manchurian border and helped the North Korean Reds drive back UN forces. For the next two and a half years, neither side made any headway. Most Americans have forgotten or never knew that the Korean War was a brutal one. It devastated the peninsula, and the North got the worst of it. The United States dropped 635,000 tons of bombs in Korea, compared with the 503,000 tons dropped in the entire Pacific theater during World War II. U.S. bombers decimated the North. After bombing urban targets, the U.S. hit dams, flooding farmland. Air Force commanders complained that they'd run out of targets. This, in part, has fueled the North Korean narrative, helping keep the Kim family in power for almost seven decades. From the very real events of the Korean War, North Korea's propagandists have created a version of history that is designed to keep the shock and horror alive. According to the North Korean version of events, the South, backed by their imperialist allies, started the conflict, which is painted as a patriotic war fought against American invaders. North Koreans know it as the victorious Fatherland Liberation War. The regime has used anti-Americanism as an ideological tool, keeping its citizens in constant fear of an imminent American attack. When tensions between North Korea and the U.S. escalate, the North turns up the volume on its propaganda machine. This helps it unify North Koreans against a supposed external threat. At the Sinchon Museum of American War Atrocities, the narrative of American aggression is kept alive. According to North Korean state media, a major expansion in July 2015 turned it into a center for anti-U.S. class education. The Korean Central News Agency reported in March that more than 18,000 people visited the museum in the first 10 days of the month. KCNA went on to say that the hearts of the visitors were burning with the resolution to punish the U.S. imperialists and the South Korean warmongers.